Live from Austin, Texas, at the tech gathering of the year. They call it Spring Break for Geeks. Rackspace, the open cloud company, presents the Scobalizer with the movers, the doers, shaking things up and impacting our world. Now, Robert Scoble. Hi, I'm Robert Scoble, and you're at the Rackspace Open Cloud Experience here at South by Southwest 2013. But we're calling it Audible. We, you know, we usually have things scheduled every half an hour, and I, I, I these two guys came by. One's a, <laughs> one's a country music star, Pete Stringfellow. That's right. Hey, yeah, baby. Yeah, awesome. And beatboxer. Oh yeah, that's right. Don't get the beatbox. We, we're gonna get you beatboxing later. Oh boy. But, oh. <laughs> And, uh, Can we just start with that now? No, 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 we no. Could. no. Get the intro. Get the and intro. who are you? Uh, I'm Marcus Whitney, a CTO and co-founder of Moontoast. And you guys, uh, so you started this company called Moontoast, right? Yeah, um, I'm the, the creative director now, and it's awesome. It's, yeah. uh, it's an amazing uh, platform for, uh, for anyone who wants to get the word out for their advertising socially, so it's great. Hap happens on YouTube, it's amazing. So if you watch Twitter, it, it, most of the uh, the people who are in the world know you as the guy who plays country music That's and right. yes. opens for Merle Hart Haggard and That's all right. sorts of yeah, exactly. crazy stuff. You live in Nashville? I live in Nashville and I have a place out in Santa Rosa, California, of course. West Coast, West Coast. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, well, what's what's interesting about you know what I'm really passionate about is is is, is music and creating entertaining, engaging experiences. That's really what I've always been about. I went to school for music, and I went to school for interactive multimedia, because to me, it's really the, the future of not only uh, businesses, but it's also the future of entertainers, you know? And, um, so I'm really and marketing, passionate. you know, all marketing. Yeah. All, you know, companies are struggling to get a, a engagement and a Absolutely. thing going on Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn and Google Plus and Absolutely. all that, right? Yeah. 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 You, you see Red Bull doing it really well, because mm -hmm. they have a, a 500 people who create media <laughs> for Red Bull, right? Absolutely, it's huge. And, and uh, yeah, no, and, that's really big. And you help like Target and other companies, right? Yeah, I was doing that for a while, and then when I was uh, uh, Marcus and I, we've worked together in the past on startups and uh, uh, successful ones, thankfully. Um, and the beautiful thing about it is, I was doing you know freelance work for other companies and all this other stuff. But then I saw Moon Toast, and I was like, "What is going on with Moon Toast? It's doing so well, and they just got another round of funding, etc. Blah blah blah." So I called them up. I said. I would love to do your creative direction for this because I, I really believe in the product a lot. So uh, what is Moon Toast? Yeah, tell me. So Moon Toast is uh, social rich media, right? Rich media that creates really engaging experiences for fans directly inside of the newsfeed. So if you wanted to, Lexus, right? Lexus wanted to reveal their new car yeah. in January at the Detroit Auto Show. Yeah. And they, they teased it up with a couple of different apps that we had. And then they had the live stream appear directly inside of the newsfeed, no clicking off the site at all, worked on mobile devices. They delivered 100,000 views of that live reveal in 10 minutes. So it's a way to create engaging experiences that fit with the Facebook mode of telling stories. Yeah, yeah, exactly. What's your advice to, because we've had lots of startups here, and what's your advice to those guys to to do on Facebook? Because I'm watching, I, I have a Facebook list. You can find it on by yeah. searching for startups on Facebook. It's 2,500 startups. Yeah. And you see some of them do pretty good and yeah. has, have a good natural ability to talk to their to their customer and their and their uh, fans but most don't and right. most, most are like struggling and they do stupid stuff and they or they don't well, do I anything at all which is yeah, even no. stupid right. Right? Right. you get some which fans yeah, you absolutely. get some people listening and you don't even give them any, any yes. anything right no i mean really engagement is such a big part of it you know and, and also um caring about da data you know i think one of the things that moon toast is really good with is their analytics and, and having measurements for what we call dice which is discovery interaction, transaction, and endorsement. And so, to me, that's what sets us apart. Yeah. Um, but what would you say as, as far as I like mean, I recommendations? Th I, th I think it's delivering value, right, for, yeah. your, for your audience. I mean, you have to know what your audience cares about and then just give it to them, right? Yeah. Um, I think you demonstrate how to do that very well, right? Yeah. Uh, you yeah. know, helping people who want to be in the know about what's going on in technology and giving it to them in a consistent voice uh, with a certain level of quality, you, you, you know, you check stuff out. I mean, I think for us, people check in with Moontoast because we're at the forefront of what's going on with social advertising. Well, and so I think the quality yeah. bar is going up. I mean, we bought a $22,000 TriCaster, which Holy was Rocky's. Cow. Rocky's running over there. Wow. Hey, Rocky. Right. What's up, Rocky? Dude, this is no Wayne's My boy world, over man. there. That's right. No, it, it's not it, Wayne's <laughs> world. Well, this is the modern <laughs> Wayne's world. <laughs> now, keep in mind, this is, a, this is low cost for, uh, for media. It's right. Media yeah. companies, right. Right. 
but it's a higher cost than it used to be. <laughs> totally. Yeah. For me. Totally. Right. Totally. Because I used to go around with a two hundred fifty dollar camera at Microsoft, and, I, and yeah. it was easy because there was no competition for what I was doing. Right. right. Now there's a lot more noise on the street. Right. Yeah. A lot yes. more noise. A lot more noise. Yeah. And, and getting people to click like and share and, and comment and and uh, all that, is the the bar is going up. Yep. And well, you're getting through the edge rank. That, that that's huge. That's I I think that's why that's I asked huge. you to come. Yeah. Here. We were talking about edge rank. Yeah. And yeah. How to punch through the edge rank and how that works. So yeah. Talk about that. The this for that I think that model really does make a difference. I think yeah. if you, if you not only are you adding value to your customers but giving them something for their time or their life and it's you know people if you think about it they don't want you know as ever irrelevant to them. We want them to be relevant to what they like and what they do. But then at the same time, a lot of times we say hey give us your email but we'll give you a coupon if you do that or you know a download or something. You, you, you got to present an offer at the yeah. end of the day. At the end of the day, yeah. The other thing that's happening here at South by Southwest, which is pretty crazy, there's 200,000 people here now, right? Oh, I know. <laughs> <It's ridiculous. laughs> 11 years ago when I started coming here, there was 500 people, and you know we could oh. all sit in one room. Totally, yes. totally. It's crazy. Totally. Now. And to for and this is becoming more corporate. General Motors has a huge stand over yeah, there. Yeah, right. Uh, pushing. There's a lot more money that's needed to get through the noise. I mean, Rackspace has sure. spent couple hundred grand, three hundred grand yeah. on, on this space. Yeah. I sense that soon we're gonna need celebrity endorsements in here to, to push through even more, right? Which yeah. that's why That's I, why I, Pete's here. That's, that's why Pete's here. here right? <laughs> so are you playing a lot of part are you doing a lot of appearances? I do stuff? a lot of promoting a muchos, not because uh, I'm a big part of the, the company, but because I really do believe in what we're doing. You know, yeah. um, to me it's one thing to say you're going to change the world with your music and, and what you do, but I really want to take it to the next level with technology. You know, I want to present. I mean, we have great clients now that are really utilizing in the country music uh, space. We've got Taylor Swift, uh, we've got Keith Urban using it, we've got Lady Annabelle, because you know, um, it start. We started in the music industry. Now we have offices in Nashville, we have offices in Boston and San Francisco. So it's really grown because brands, just brands alone, are really getting it. And yeah. we're seeing a big trend now with like annual commitments with us to do campaigns because now we have engagement apps that I am really excited about. Things like sweepstakes mm -hmm. and video with Burl and all these other things. So yeah. it's it's really it's really a, a really exciting time. Very cool. We yeah, should awesome. hire you to play at our uh, party tonight. Let's man. do it. Yeah, I, I wish I had my band here. Next year we'll, we'll make that happen. Yeah, it's absolutely. on film. It's on film. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. um, what yeah. else? What else is going on in the world of? Marketing. What, what what else are you seeing? We talked last night at, at, at the party about edge rank. Yeah. So, it, you know, it used to be that you put a message out and it went to ev everybody that followed your brand. No, right. no longer is that true, and that's gonna get less and less true over time. Yeah. Because like, like I'm gonna get Google Glasses yeah. soon within oh, within days. Awesome. And. I don't want every message that I followed right. coming into the glasses because no. some of them are stupid. Mo most of them are stupid. Oh, and lame. Are stupid. You know, and a lot of cat photos. I don't need to see those. <laughs> <in the glasses. laughs> you know, yes. And, but I do want to hear the right message at the right time from the right. You know, if I'm walking into a General Motors dealership and I'm wanting to buy the bulb, yeah. I want to hear information about the bulbs at that time, or I'm yes. or a competitive product, right? Absolutely. Pitch, pitch me because I'm in in the mood for a car. Yes. And so Edge Rank works. So if we put a message out to a thousand people, it only goes out to maybe 50 people. And what those first 50 people do with it really depends how many other people are gonna see it. And right. most marketers have no clue yeah. how this works. Yeah. So the first 50 people, if they all click like, mm -hmm. it's gonna go to 150 people instantly, right? right? Yes. And you see that some, some messages get viral. Yes, mm -hmm. viral. And, get, mm -hmm. and get through that edge rank yeah. and get pushed along, but it's really, you got to get each group of people that sees yes. that message to engage, like it, comment on it. Absolutely, and see, so engagement's you see, huge. You see marketers do stuff to to, to gain the engagement. You know, yes. ask a question sure. or put a blank space. Yeah, fill in know, the blank. Kind fill of in the yeah, blank yeah. stuff, and that gets old, and that stops working after a while because people catch on. Oh, you guys are just playing with us. Right, yeah. right, 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 <laughs> right. People right. catch on. They're not, you know, they're, they're not smart. stupid. They're not stupid. <laughs> they're not stupid. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And so. You as an entertainer have to yeah. be a, uh, aware of you know Always. how to how far to push the gaming, but also how to provide a real product that people actually Absolutely. do want to engage. Absolutely, in. I, mean, I think 
listening and, and, and going back to our clients even and talking to them and having best practices that we can offer based on not just what we research, you know, coming to South by or researching with our friends, like, you know, even with friends with Jeremiah, of course. You know, it, one of the things that I think is really important is that if you, if you take that data and put it into practice, yeah. you have to be nimble in this space. You're, you know, things are moving, things are changing, the new species that solve has changed. You have to be on the cutting edge of things. To your point with sharing, endorsement is a really big part of what we believe in at Mintel. So yeah. our apps have a sharing right on it. You know, right off the bat, boom, at the top right, you share, and we have multiple social channels to do that. Um, but we also encourage it. And we invite you know, um, the messaging that, the, that our clients use on the feed to not be too silly or pitchy. You know, there's that fine line, right? It's that, it's that, it's that balance. Because mm -hmm. you don't want to be too pitchy, but you no, also I, want I to No, I rarely talk about Rackspace on our show, right? Yeah, right. Because that that is, a, you know, yes. you want yeah. people to pull you right. along and push you right. along. If, if you're perceived as always, he, all he does is talk about Rackspace, you know, yes. I have people on here who use non-Rackspace stuff, right? right? All the time. Right, right, right. So exactly. That but makes people respect you guys even more, though. I mean, exactly. honestly. Exactly. Right. And that's why you have so many followers. Yeah. So important. Yeah. So, so, so are we going to do some beatboxing? Yeah, come yeah. on, come on, Pete. Enough yeah. of this marketing stuff. Yeah, man. no, no. Get to the right. music, dude. Get to the music. Well, last night was crazy. We were at a party, and uh, we were, I was there, you know, hanging out, seeing my boy Robert, and just, and there was a band there, right? So the next thing I know, I got Robert. <laughs> 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 Robert has his camera, and he's jumping it down. Pete, 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 Pete. So I was like, uh, uh, I'll get up there and do it. I felt bad because of the band, but they're like, no, 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 go. So I did a little bit of a clinic, and then, then more people came up and so Yeah. It was funny. Um, All right, well, let's see it. So right, you so started out as a beatboxer. Yeah, I started out as a beatboxer because, um, you know, my family, I grew up on a farm, and I didn't want to do country when I got older, you know? So I was rebellious at a young age, and I was doing uh, hip-hop and rock and all these other genres. Uh, and, you know, there were guys that came and made it in my area, like Tupac Shakur, for mm. example. He was in my area, and I was mm. beatboxing for him in battles, yeah. and I actually ended up battling his guy. And I won. So I had some street cred as a, as a guy that didn't rap, but that was part of the culture, you know? Yeah. Um, so it's really weird that now um, I'm doing country music, but I'm bringing in some of the hip hop flavors and some of the things that are now kind of become a trend, you know? Yeah. With Jason Aldean and these, uh, these other guys. But it's one of the, my things that kind of separates me from the crowd. Yeah. It's that same thing as separating from the crowd. It's the yeah. same, mm -hmm. the, the, the methodology is very, very similar. Well, that's why I like hanging out with you, because you're so creative. They, they, you're all over the place, and, and uh, you just come <laughs> up with stuff that's like, what? Yeah, right, I know, I know. Well, anyways, I know. Let's hear the what. Yeah, come let's, on. Do it. No, let's do it. You know, I just, I just, I just love, I, well, I love what I do, and like I said, at the end of the day, I just like creating engaging experiences through music, yeah. you know, film, interactive. It's like, I, I want, I don't want, I want to, if I want to see something on YouTube, I want to be, like, I want to click on it, you know? Yeah. If, yeah. if it's a song, I want people to listen to it. I don't want them to go, ah, oh, it's just noise. Yeah. I don't want to be the noise. So I think creativity has a lot to do with it. Yeah. So All right, here we go. You ready? Yeah. Which one should I do? I mean, you, you heard a little bit last night. What do you want to hear? I don't know. I just riff, man. All right. All right, here we go. I'll try with a little bit of the uh, uh, electronic first, and I'll kick into the street. And uh, I like spilling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. There you go. <laughs> Dubstep. I don't know, know if you can hear it. Yeah. <laughs> Rick Robert Scoble. He's our creative director. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Exactly. It's the entertainment. Oh, man. Dude, all yeah. day. All day. All day. Oh, I know. He's yeah. got a bad day. Can you beat Fox for us? <laughs> <laughs> that happens. That happens. Exactly. That's pretty funny. Um, cool, man. Well, well thanks for dropping by Dude, and, thank and you interrupting for my us, schedule man. here. I know. <laughs> Sorry, Rocky. You Sorry, man. My whole schedule for the rest I know, of the day. I skipped the whole schedule. Uh, South by Southwest. <laughs> But oh man, well thanks for having us. And, and um, we'll see you again tonight. We're, yeah. we're going to be at, there's, uh, how many parties are there tonight? Woo! Oh, Twitter geez. has a party. Yeah, Twitter has a party. Yeah. Tumblr has a party. Tumblr has a party. Facebook has a party. 
Facebook has a party. Oh, Warstore right. has a party. <laughs> it's going to be. Path has a party. <laughs> Ready, set, uh -huh. go. And Rackspace has go. a party. All right. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> sure. Exactly. Start at Rackspace and go to all the yeah. others afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like a plan. Absolutely. When Rackspace's live coverage from Austin continues, we'll show you the future in real time. Rackspace, backed by fanatical support, bringing you live coverage from South by Southwest daily. Hmm, so good, it hurts. The Open Cloud Experience.